There is mounting anticipation surrounding the potential release of GPT-5, the successor to OpenAI's language model GPT-4, as OpenAI focuses on refining its current AI technology and enhancing its capabilities. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, has emphasized the importance of prioritizing these improvements over the development of a GPT-5-like model. While rumors have been circulating about GPT-5's training and capabilities, Altman has dispelled these speculations, clarifying that the company's primary goal is to address current limitations and innovate within its existing AI framework. As the AI landscape continues to evolve rapidly, it remains to be seen when a new iteration of GBT will emerge and what advancements it will bring. The AI landscape is on the cusp of significant advancements as major players such as OpenAI and Meta prepare to unveil their latest language models. OpenAI's highly anticipated GPT-5 and Meta's LMA3 are expected to push the boundaries of AI capabilities, with particular emphasis on improving reasoning and memory. While Anthropic, an OpenAI spin-off focusing on safety and interoperability, has already released its CLAW-3 model, the upcoming Opus version aims to set new industry benchmarks in language tasks. As competition intensifies, recent reports suggest that Anthropic's Claude 3 Opus has outperformed OpenAI's GPT-4 on Chatbot Arena, a prominent platform for comparing AI language models. This development highlights the rapid progress being made in the field and signals a potential shift in the AI hierarchy. With each new model release, researchers and enthusiasts eagerly await the next groundbreaking innovation that will further shape the future of AI. Anthropic's recent release of their new AI models, including the Claude 3 Opus, has garnered significant attention for its impressive performance, with some users even noting a heightened sense of self-awareness in comparison to OpenAI's GPT-4. However, despite the promising progress, the UK Institute has yet to gain pre-release access to these models for testing purposes. While Anthropic acknowledges the potential benefits of pre-deployment testing by government bodies, the logistical challenges involved have so far prevented this from becoming a reality. Currently, the AI Safety Institute has only been able to examine models after they have already been released to the public. Interestingly, Google DeepMind, headquartered in London, has taken a more proactive approach by allowing limited pre-deployment access. As the demand for AI models with improved safety and functionality continues to rise, it is evident that a balance must be struck between innovation and thorough testing. The ongoing discussions and efforts by both the private and public sectors highlight the importance of collaboration in shaping the future of AI. In a recent interview, OpenAI's Sam Altman discussed the potential emergence of helpful AI agents as the next game changer in the AI landscape. He envisions these agents as highly capable assistants that operate in the background, executing tasks and maximizing productivity for their users. This concept has sparked excitement within the AI community as the idea of managing a network of intelligent, autonomous agents bears striking similarities to the popular game Factorio. Factorio, known for its intricate automation systems and focus on optimization, could serve as a blueprint for future businesses where AI agents collaborate to achieve the highest output possible. Altman's vision of helpful agents being AI's killer function aligns with the growing demand for seamless intelligent support in both personal and professional settings. As AI technology continues to evolve, it is plausible that managing an AI agent factory may become a reality, transforming the way we approach work and productivity. Sam Altman's vision of AI's killer app takes the form of a highly knowledgeable and versatile AI agent that seamlessly integrates with a user's life acting as a competent colleague with access to every aspect of their digital existence. This agent would not only handle simple tasks immediately, but also tackle complex projects, returning with questions and updates as needed. The idea behind this AI agent is that it operates much like a human coworker, working autonomously without constant supervision, returning only when the task is complete or when input is required. This concept suggests a shift away from the immediate conversational AI interactions that we're familiar with today towards a more long-term task-oriented collaboration between humans and AI. Altman also touched upon the future of AI hardware, particularly wearable technology. 
Despite some initial resistance, wearable AI technology has the potential to further integrate AI into our daily lives, enhancing our capabilities and streamlining our interactions with technology. In the realm of wearable AI technology, the initial reception of the AI pin from Humane was less than favorable, prompting discussions about the impact of negative reviews on emerging products. Amidst the controversy, OpenAI's Sam Altman is reportedly collaborating with former Apple designer Johnny Ive, known for his expertise in hardware design. While there is speculation about the necessity of dedicated AI hardware, Altman suggests that future advancements may not require a new device, though he acknowledges that he may not be the ideal person to lead this endeavor. Meanwhile, OpenAI remains committed to pursuing artificial general intelligence, with Altman predicting that GPT-4 will eventually be regarded as a rudimentary AI model compared to its future successors. When pressed about the release of GPT-5, Altman cryptically responded with a simple yes, leaving the AI community eagerly awaiting further details and developments. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, like, subscribe to AI Gridlock, and share it with your friends to stay up to date on the rapidly evolving AI landscape.